Hey guys, what's up? This is Legit Cupcake 2 g 6 and I'm bringing you a video, um, well, continuing the series. So, I haven't really kept up with the series, but I'm planning on finish fixing, doing that, because I only did one video on the series, and so I promised you guys I would stick with it, so that's what I'm trying to do. And right now I'm just trying to find my paper. Here it is. This is the paper we're doing today. And sorry about my desk being a mess. Well, you know, every artist I think has a messy desk. So it kind of... I apologize. Anyway. This is Bristol Vellum. But this is not This is a, a Vellum Bristol. You have Smooth Bristol and Bristol Vellum. Last video I did, it was on mixed media paper. So now we're working with Bristol Vellum, which actually is a little more tooth, like a little more texture, I guess, if you don't know what tooth means, to the paper than a smooth Bristol. So that's what we're going to be working on today, and I'm using the same brand of colored pencils as in the rest of the videos. So I hope this is really helpful to you guys. And also, I have to find those Willis colored pencils that I have, like just to do a tutorial and use them in my tutorial, because I got them, and it's like, I don't know where they are. So the first pencil I'm going to start with is Prismacolor Cola Race. I actually only recently got into using these. I've been using them to do like quick sketches and to help like make thumbnails and stuff. To kind of help establish color schemes. So it's, it's working out really good. I really do like them, I have to say. I actually got into them to Bailey J. She's like my new my favorite YouTube artist. She's just amazing and I love her videos. I follow her vlog, so if you guys want to check her out, she's Bumble ba Bailey on her um on her personal. Her her uh, regular is just Bailey J or Bailey Creations. So you guys can look her up if you're interested. Because I always bring her up, so I figured why not give out her information. So yeah, anyways, let's get with the video. So I'm just going to do a little swatch thingy. And stuff. So this is just a little. Okay, so that's how Cola Race looks on Bristol Vellum. And by the way, guys, in the end of the video, we are going to go over. What do you call it? We're going. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be uh, taking out this chart that we did in our last video. To see how it all works out. So I'm going to try all the same brands. But obviously on different kinds of paper. I'm just trying to show you how different papers work with different pencils. And vice versa. That way you can find out what's, what's the best. If you're st This is more for if like you're starting with art. To show like what's the best pencil for you. Best type of colored pencils. Like these that I'm using right now. The biggest set that they come in is 24. But like I said, I only use them for basic sketching in like my sketchbook to plan to plan out different drawings that I do in like say marker. So anyway, but that's that's the Prismacolor Cola race. It's hope you guys can see that. But that's how it looks. There we go. That's better. And like I said, we're gonna compare in the next one. So I just used that one first because that's what I had out first. Okay, so now I'm taking out, yes, I have them all categorized in rubber bands because the boxes, my one box that I got in the mail didn't come with the top and I never bothered calling Amazon for a new one, so here we are. Anyway, this is a Macaulay Noir Harma Tritone. This is another one that we used in my last video. Okay, I'm just sorry, I'm focusing. There we go. So, I actually had used the color Evening Storm on the other one. This one's Tiger. So, I'm just going to do that one real quick. And you see how that kind of comes out? And then look, when I flip the pencil over, a different tone comes out. And then when I use the top of the pencil, 
a lighter tone comes out. So that's what's really cool about this pencil is that you can get all different colors. Like they like this pencil is mixed with a yellow orchid, an orange, and a dark brown. So that way you can just flip your pencil and you could make different colors. So it's really cool. So I really enjoy these, I have to say. I only got a what? I only got a twelve pack because that's all they had in the store that day. But I'm really thinking about getting um a, a twenty four because these are pretty cool. Try tone. Sorry guys, I just I just want to label these. That way, I know what what ha what's happening right now. And also, I am going to put on pastel pencil pastel pencils. So stay tuned. Ah, uh, okay, so next pencil, I'm going to use metallic, and then I'm going to take in another bunch, that way I can use all different colors. So, this is Derwent Metallic Copper, and also, this Derwent Metallic pencil is a water, water soluble. I'm actually thinking about doing another series, like a, a mini series, maybe like in one or two videos. Just go over pencils that are water soluble and show how they are dry and then wet. So I'm thinking about doing that for another time. Okay, so anyway, let me uh, get to this. So it comes up awfully light, so it might be hard to see on camera. Maybe not. I don't know. And then there it is. So that's how it looks on there. Did I do a metallic on there? Yeah. The metallic comes out a little more vibrant action on the metallic. Like, you see the... Well, I guess it might depend on the different pencil color. I don't know. But it's, it came out cute on this. I guess cute. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. Anyway. German. Metallic. Probably spelled that wrong. I did. I'm not very good with spelling. Copper. 8-5. Just so we know the different colors. So there's your Derwent Metallic. So now I'm going to put this away. And I'm going to take out another another set. Here, these are pretty purples and stuff. For all those gals out there. So yeah. And also guys, I, I just realized something I have to do. After I make sure to finish this series, I'm going to go over a Prismacolor color chart. Because I have the 150 Prismacolor set, which is... All the co all the colors that they actually that are in existence from Prismacolor. So I'm thinking about doing a color chart on those. That way, you, you, for people who can't afford to buy all 150, you you can figure out what colors you want. Like you, you could buy like say a 48 set, but then you want to get some other colors separately. It'll help you figure out the best colors for you for Prismacolor. Uh, the German ones they come up to 72, no more than that. So, yeah, just if you like Darwin, just letting you know. Okay, well, the first one I see, and I'm taking it out, is Darwin Ink Tens. I have to say, these are my favorites, besides Color Soft. And I'll explain why Color Soft is probably my second favorite after Prisma Color in a couple minutes. So, Darwin Ink Tens, this is a violet. So, I'm just going to draw on it. These are also water soluble. In other words, you can use a paintbrush and they'll turn into paint. So, yeah, these are. These are the same way. Okay. So, Derwin's Ink Tense Violet Zero Eight. Okay, cool. We got our Derwin Ink Tense. Now I'm going to go to a cheaper brand of colored pencils, which is called cool, Reeves. For a cheap brand, they're actually pretty damn good. I have to say, they are pretty good. You can get these really anywhere, you see more or not. What I don't like about them is that they're not labeled at all. So all you could say is, like, if I label it, Reeves like pink. Like, there is no labeling. They come up, they come up to 36 pack. And I like them. I think they draw pretty nice. So, like, say you can't afford Prismacolor or Derwent. You know, this is a good alternative. Or even the Koei Noir. They're not that expensive. So, if you're looking for a good colored pencil, it's a little less 
which is not Crayola, but you want something a little more advanced. These are good. These are good, especially if you're just starting out. I think th these are a good one to start with. Okay, so that's that one. Um, let me see what else I'm gonna do. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna take out another set. Some, oh, here's the green that I'm going to use. It's a pea green. It came from the Dermot Color Soft set. And then this is going to lead me into doing all my pastel pencils. Hold on, let me get those. I just got these drawers and I absolutely love them. Because they, and I should actually do one on drawing pencils now that I think about it. I have a whole load of drawing pencils. But that just reminded me to do, to do that. So... That would be something else I might do. I I just have so many things I want to do with this channel. But yet don't have enough time to do all of it. So, yeah. It's just the way it is. Okay. So, Pea Green. This is a Derwent Color Soft. My, my favorite thing about the... They're one of my favorites. Because it's a mix between a pastel pencil and a colored pencil. So, they actually put the two together and make Color Soft. So... I love them. They draw beautifully on paper. I really do like them. They probably feel the best. That and Prismacolor. The Derwent Color Softs are, are just amazing. And we're going to compare... And, and uh, but, but, oh, Sorry. Sorry, I, that was off camera first of all. Second of all, I was stammering. Below, I'm going to be putting regular Derwent Pastel Pencils. Because I actually don't know the difference. So we're gonna find out. So th this is on the pet. This is the color soft. So Derwent color soft pea green C four thirty. So that's that one. Next. I'm going to take out my pastel pencils, 24 set. This is the biggest set I have. This, there's probably more colors out there, but I don't really use pastel pencils all that much. I mainly like using like new pastels by Prismacolor, or just like regular soft pastels because I don't know. I just like them better than using pastel pencils. I only use pastel pencils if I absolutely have to. Oh, look at that! So here's the pea green in a in a Derwin uh, pastel pencil. So that way it's the same exact shade, but now we compare with the brands. So actually that was a that was a coincidence. So now we're gonna find out. So I'm just trying to turn my paper this way. That way you guys can see. I should actually do a video on how to draw pastels. Because I love pastels a lot. And I love I love drawing with them. They're they're a lot of fun. So one day I should do that. I mean, yeah, I don't think I've done that before. No, I haven't given a video on that yet. I love that too. There's so many things I want to teach you guys. Oh my god. It's amazing how much I want to teach you guys. So I'm actually gonna write with this, because this will smudge. So I'm just gonna write it with this pea green. So Darwin. Pastel pencil P green P four thirty. There we go. Now when I'm just gonna give you a quick overview of what I do with pastels after I close this because it's bothering me that it's open. And I have to put rubber bands because it doesn't close on its own. I've had that problem with this set since day one. So I have to put rubber bands. I have rubber bands for everything. It's not even funny. Like, anyways. So. My tip to you if you're going to work with uh, pastels. Even just regular pastels. Blend with the circular motion only with one finger. I do not recommend using using your fist like some people do and also if you want to blend another color you use a different finger that's why you do one on each finger when you blend don't blend with only one finger so yeah just a little tip 
to people who like pastels. It's just a little thing that I thought I would I would add. Um, because I also have soft pastels by Prismacolor, and then I also have um the hard the new pastels. They call them new pastels. You know, it sounds like new. It's new. Yeah, that didn't sound like it. Um, what else is there? Okay, so I went over. You know what? I'm gonna take out a Prismacolor brand. Then I'll take out Faber Castell. These are Prismacolor water soluble color pencils. So these are these are ones that you can paint with. The biggest set they come in is 36. So I have the biggest set right here. I think I did blue already. I'll do this color. It's a it's a poppy red. Okay, yeah, let's do that. I'm trying to think. Did I do all the ones? Yeah. Okay. I'm on the right track. All right, guys. So, I'd say these draw really nice. And what's nice about them is you can use them just dry. And then you have the option to make them wet. These draw really nice on this. Wow, I can't get over it. Very smooth. Plenty of coverage. And when I'm doing this, guys, I'm not making little boxes. I'm making value scales. That way you get an idea of what the color looks from dark to light on the paper. So that's why I'm doing value scales instead of boxes, even though I did a box up there. So, yeah. Alright, so Prisma, color, watercolor, color, pencil, and also with the, with the pastel pencil, the color soft, it, it, I think that was pretty successful. Um, they look pretty much similar. But, you know, of course this looks more pastelish because I blended it. But if I didn't blend it, they would look about the same. So you could always go back in the video and see what I'm talking about. Could kind of go backwards, I guess. Yep. Okay, so that's those. Now I'm going to flip over to Faber Castell. Whoops, wrong draw. I love these art drawers. I think I'm getting another set. Well, not art drawers, but I use them to store all my stuff. I think I'm going to get another thing of them. They look really good. Anyways, so I have Prism Color Very Thin. Oh, I got to do the drawing studio ones. That's right. I forgot about that. Okay, but anyway, let me get on to Fiera Castell. And I'm sorry, guys, that these videos are kind of long. It's just that by the time you go through all the brands and stuff, like, you lose a lot of time. But I'm doing this, that way you have this information to do it. Okay, so anyway, these are Fiera Castell Art Grips. I love these. I think the col colors aren't as vibrant as they could possibly be. My favorite thing about them is this grip. Like, when you hold your hand on it and you... Draw it, it just has a really nice feel, the pencil, when you touch it. But yeah, so I'm going to do this color. I'm just randomly picking these colors, guys. That's why, you know what I should probably do for my next video? I should probably just write the color down and then just do the shading by it. So that way we don't. I don't have to waste time writing it. I'm wasting your guys' time, so, yep. Anyways, and that's my dog barking. I'm sorry. He's being, he he has he has problems being alone. Like he gets nervous of being alone, even though he knows we're in the house. He he just wants to be held all the time. He's a little spoiled baby, but yeah, I love him. So these are um them on the Bristol Vellum. Uh, pretty good. I like it. So that's how that one looks. So, I mean, I really do like these, so, you know, I just wish the colors were a little more vibrant, but other than that, they draw really nice. Art grip. It doesn't say what color, it just says the number, so it's 192. Next, I'm going to go with Derwin Studio. So, I'm going to take one out of my box is stiff. Uh, 
This color is good. This is a, a Kingfisher Blue. Okay. So these are Derwin Studio. These are actually Derwin's version of Prismacolor Very Thins, if you know what I'm talking about. Prismacolor Very Thins are a harder lead, and they're good for fine details and stuff. So, yeah. That's that's what these are. They're, they're Derwin's version of those. And they draw really nice, but I think they're less... The hardest... The lead isn't as hard as the Prismacolor Very Thin, but I still really like these. And they even shade nice, like... There's all different ways to shade, like, I'll show you my different ways of shading in a couple minutes. But, um, Derwent Studio. See, I actually really use this paper when I'm working with colored, pen colored pencils and, 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 uh, co colored pencils and markers, so. Blue. Three eighths. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you one way of varying your shading when you're working. So wait, I don't know if you guys saw what I shaded, but that's what I shaded. I'll try to turn it that way. Anyway, um, what am I missing? I know I'm missing a couple. The metallic. Oh, very thin. Very thin in the regular. And I think that's it after that. I think we did the rest of them. Yeah, we did. Okay, good. All right, so. So when ink tends, reuse light green, prism color, very thin. Okay, so I'm going to take out just a regular prism color uh, premiere, and I'm also going to take out a very thin. But first, I'm going to start off with the very thin to show you the difference between a Derwin's version of very thin and prism color is very thin. So, and then I think that's everything. Yeah, that was good. Great. Yeah. And we're going to compare the two in a couple minutes. So, Derwin Studio. Oh, right. I wanted to sh vary the shading. So, you know, my teacher actually taught me this. Because I, I used to just kind of shade, like, a writing hand. And I would just hold it very loosely. That is definitely one way you could do it. I still do it that way with certain areas. But what my teacher showed me is to hold the pencil this way. So, for example, I'm going to hold it closer for more pressure. You see how the color comes out? And then I could move it here for lighter coverage. And I can kind of just go over it. But if I want something darker, I could do this. So that was just her way of shading. And I think I like it better, her way of shading. Like, I think it's a great way to use the colored pencils. And that also goes for your graphite and stuff. So, oh yeah, and these are the differences between... Prismacolor is very thin and Derwent's very thin. So you can, it's it's really, I think they both work beautifully. So it's really a matter of opinion. Parma, Violet, Prismacolor, very thin. You see the number? 742. Great. Okay. So the last pencil is the Prismacolor Premier, last but not least. I mean, the best, save the best for last, that's what I meant. Whoops, okay. Yeah, I can't believe I did all of them that fast. Well, not that fast, it's 21 minutes. It took around the same time as the other video. And this one's going to be a tiny bit longer. So anyway, huh, the funny thing is I had these all in rows beautifully, but now i got to break the row. Anyway... Oh, this pencil needs to be sharpened. I'll sharpen it later. i just get one that works for now. So I don't want to spend time sharpening. Oh, this is the other thing I wanted to compare. Okay, that that's what I was trying to remember. I couldn't remember it. I was getting so upset. Uh, why can't I find one? No. I'll get another color. I think I have a box in my other thing. Yeah, no. Here's a Prisma color. Why can I find one? Here it is. That's what I wanted. Okay, cool. So I actually just came across an art stick. I have a 24 pack of these. I'm almost, I'm really don't have that many of these left because I, I ran out of some of them. 
But I'm going to show you how they work on both papers since we're here. So, this, art sticks are a woodless colored pencil. They're really meant to cover up large areas that, like, you know, your colored pencil would have a hard time covering. So that's, that's um, an art stick on this paper. And then on this paper, here's an art stick. So you can, like, compare the two. I like it on this paper better, but it didn't come up out bad on that paper. So either way, you know, you can do that art stick. That's all I'm gonna write for that one. And now last is I gotta put these up my clothes. Trying to have some sort of organization system. Now this one Actually, second to last, this is spring green, and it's just a Prismacolor soft core. And writes up pretty nice, so yeah. Prismacolor Premier Spring Green. Get the number PC nine thirteen. Okay, so that's good. Now I want to do one more thing, and I'm going to use this one since it's out. Just a quick thing. I'm going to need a white. This is white good. Okay, so I'm just going to show you burnishing. So you can't really tell with this color, but I'm burnishing it. And burnishing is when you flatten the tooth of the paper to make a texture. So... You can kind of see how it makes it a little more vibrant than that one. So I was actually thinking, not now, but in another, and in, I'll make um a part two to this series, um, burnishing on the different papers with the different brands. So I will show you that, and I'm going to do like colorless blender versus a regular blender versus a burnisher, that kind of thing. I don't know if I have any more burnishers. I know I have like a Derwent blender, Derwent's version of a colorless blender. I think that's what I would do. Derwent's version of a colorless blender, and then I would do Prismacolor's version of a colorless blender, and then I would just do a white colored pencil. So I'm gonna do that in another video because you know, I mean, I'd be, I could be here forever, honestly, teaching you guys things about colored pencils. But I want to try to keep these as short as possible, even though this isn't short at all. So here we are. I'm actually going to take pictures of these and put them and put like a link to them. That way you guys can look at them closely and you guys can compare. And I'm going to label the different papers. So this one, I'm just going to lift my camera. I'm going to lift it. Uh, sorry guys, my camera, I just messed it up. So... The paper on the right is the one that I did in my part one video with the with the mixed media paper. This one to the left is with is with the Bristol Vallum. So you guys can keep that man. Anyway, so that's how they look together. So, I mean, like I said, I'm going to put a picture and a link. That way you guys can look at these more closely. I had the camera on for a little bit because I wanted you guys to kind of get an idea of how these look. So, yeah, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, thank you again for 483 subscribers. It means so much to me. And also, guys... Just to give you a heads up, I am planning on doing a giveaway for a thousand subscribers special. For a thousand subscribers special, I'm planning on doing a giveaway. So stay tuned for that and be a subscriber if you're not already. So thank you guys again and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.